In this video, I'm going to be finding completely ordinary stock photos online and turning them into some crazy poster designs in Photoshop. And I'll be walking you through every step so at the end of the video, you can create your own stunning poster designs. So let's dive into Photoshop and see how this turns out. So there are many, many different websites you can use to find free photos and images for your designs. But so I don't get sued, we're gonna be using Unsplash, which has literally millions of copyright free images. So let's go ahead and drag this handsome guy here into Photoshop. And I will speed up this part, I promise, but I'm gonna use the pen tool to make a selection and get rid of the background and the things we don't need. And just for now, let's drag in a nice blue background. And I also found this image on Unsplash. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace his head with this cloud. I know that sounds a bit mental, but I think it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna do this. Sorry about that, mate. And let's put this cloud right around here. So now I wanna remove the background of this cloud, but if I use the pen tool again, it's gonna look atrocious. So I'm actually gonna use this very underrated tool in Photoshop called Select and Mask. And you can see down here, we have some extra controls that allow us to really fine tune the edges of the selection. And let's add a little bit of shadow just so they blend together a little bit better. Oh, that is looking beautiful. I'm also gonna add some very, very subtle clouds to the background as well. So if you guys have seen my other posters online, you'll know that typography is a huge part of my designs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some unique typography just to make the poster a little bit more interesting and eye-catching as well. And I'm gonna change that to a nice yellow color just to really make it contrast against the background. And the very last thing I'm gonna do is add some small pieces of text and other shapes just to add some detail and again, make it a little bit more interesting. And here is the final result. So yeah, for this one, I tried to play on the idea of having your head in the clouds and daydreaming and that kind of thing. And I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. So for my next poster, I was looking around for an image to kick things off. And I found this image here of this little guy down here having a wander through the desert. And I like this image because it's very simple and there's a lot of empty space. So it kind of acts as a blank canvas if we want to start blending in more images. But before we start worrying about that, I want to change up the colors a little bit just to make it a little bit more vibrant and eye-catching. So let's drag that image into Photoshop. And to edit the colors, I'm gonna add what's called a selective color adjustment layer. So we're gonna come down here and click on selective color. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and clip that to the image layer. And now what we can do is we can actually target specific colors and make changes to those areas only. So for example, if we wanted to target the white areas in the image, we can come down here, select the white areas, and then we can add in different colors to those areas only. And I'm just gonna make some Final tweaks, and there we go. How easy was that? So now what I wanna do is I wanna blend in another image. So for this poster, I wanted to play off the idea of, you know when you hear those stories of people that get lost in the desert, and because of the heat and the lack of water, they start having all these crazy visions. Well, I want to use that idea and create a story where this guy here is lost in the desert and he actually starts hallucinating. So I wanted to add in an animal into the sky and I tried a few different ideas and nothing really worked, but then I found this image here. So now let's blend these two images together. And of course, we're gonna start by using the pen tool to get rid of everything that we don't need. And let's just blend in some of these harsher edges and fix up the colors a little bit as well. And finally, let's just bring down the opacity very, very slightly. And there we go, that actually doesn't look too bad. So now I'm just gonna add some shadows down here for his tail. And I'm also gonna add a white border around the image like this. And again, I wanna add some unique typography to the poster, and I actually found this in incredible font here called Ren. So let's just add in some title text. And just to finish this off, I'm gonna drag in a paper texture. And if you do wanna check out these textures yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to my design asset store. And there is a ton of free downloads on there as well, if you do wanna check that out. So the very last thing I'm gonna do is add in some very simple shapes and some other details. And here is the final result. And yeah, I do like the way this one turned out. And again, let me know in the comments what you think. And for this final poster, we're gonna start off with this image on splash of this vintage car. So let's just drag that into Photoshop. And again, I'm gonna use a selective color adjustment layer to change up the colors. And let's also use the pen tool to make a nice selection around the car like this to remove the background. And for this poster, I want to go for something very dreamy and a bit more surreal. So let's add an image of a galaxy behind the car. And I'm also gonna add in some clouds down here as well. Okay, so that is looking dreadful. So I need to fix this. So I'm gonna use the gradient tool to 
to smoothly blend in the clouds. And I also just found this image as well, which I'm going to use to add some depth to the design. So again, let's drag that into Photoshop and let's just feather that in a few times like this. Okay, now I think we're getting somewhere. So next, I want to add a human element into the design. And I found this image of this couple sat on a rock, which I think could work really nicely. So let's drag these guys into Photoshop and make a very quick selection to remove the background. And let's put them about here. Now, obviously the colors are completely off. So let's add in some blue tones using again, a selective color adjustment layer. And I think it's looking pretty good for now, but I did just realize that they don't have any legs. Okay, I think I can fix that. So I'm gonna try blending in this image. Let's put that about there and let's just bring down the brightness, add a little bit of blur and yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I like how this is looking so far. So I'm gonna move on and add a nice border around the image like this. And for the typography, I found this amazing font called C4. So I'm gonna add that in down at the bottom here. And just to add some final touches, let's add in some small pieces of text and details around these edges. And there we have it. Here is the final result. So I think this one came out quite nicely. I did also add some subtle animation as well. So let me know if you guys are interested and I'll make another tutorial on poster animation and things like that. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching my first ever YouTube video. I had a lot of fun making this. So if you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next one.